Oh, look, look, you can hear it. What is on TV? Is that a goose? It's a goose! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, Fluffies! Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Hey Fluffies! Welcome back to Pink Stylist Plays and welcome to Moth House. I'll tell you right now, I don't want to play this. I really don't want to play this. I can't even do the introduction. Look at the creepy thing. Oh. Those of you might know I have a history with moths. I'm not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> but consequently, enough of you knew that to recommend this game to me. I don't know anything about it. I really don't. It's on Itch.io. Oh my god. It's on Itch.io and th that's all I've got to tell you. I don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. Okay. I'm not even scared. Oh. I'm not. I'm not scared of moths. I just don't. We need to see them. <laughs> okay, let's give it a go. Oh god. It's just going to be like an hour of staring at different moths, isn't it? Okay. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. What? What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, straight away I'm loving the art style. I don't need to go back yet. I am, I am loving this art style. Uh, okay, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Why Why do they have moths in their house? Oh! Oh, is it right? I like rats. I like rats. I can crouch. Oh, great! Awesome! So when I inevitably run away from something, I have to crouch. Great. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Again, let me just reiterate here. I'm not scared of moths. I could just do without them. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no. Oh, use the mouse wheel to change items. Oh, look, my match is nearly gone. What happens when it runs out? Okay, can I just, like, say goopy? Scoopy, 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 scoop, 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 scoop. Oh, God, it's dark. Oh. Oh, I don't like that mechanic. Oh, God damn it. No. I do not like that mechanic. That means that eventually when it does go dark, I'm just going to be... There's going to be something there, isn't there? Well, I've done it. Was that picture a moth before? Did it change to a moth? Do, 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 do. Catch all the moths. Do the thing. Oh, look, it's a big moth. Can I catch them? Oh, I can. Like, the big, big, pretty ones, I like. They're very pretty. But, like, they're so destructive, like, in their, like, pupa stage and whatnot. Like, they ruin things. They ruin clothes. They're such an inconvenience. Ugh. Plus dusty and blah, blah, blah. I would never hurt one, but still. I could do without them. Also, that one time on Amigle, that, that was a night as well. What you, if you've seen that video, which I might link in this description, that wasn't just like 5, 10, 15 minutes of moths. That was an evening, hours of moths. Is that all of them? Get you, get in. There you go. Oh, more items. No, oh, I just have a net. Okay. Okay, so I'm catching all the moths. How do I let them go? Pick up. Oh, wait, I'll do it. that one first. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz, with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbles? Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behaviour. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Okay. 
Am I going to be listening to this now? Oh, i got to change it to... Oh! How do I change the kilohertz? Or is it just like... Will it change automatically? Oh, it's a moth picture. That wasn't... Was that a moth before? Don't know. Oh, look, look. You can hear it. What is on TV? Is that a goose? It's a goose! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna go flat. Oh no, 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 it's gonna go flat. Oh my god, it's gonna go out. No, no, no. It's a goose, can I catch the goose? Did this person make the game for me? I feel like <laughs> it's sort of a conceited thing to say, but like, geese, moths, they give me something I love and something I hate. Are we done? Come on, get any silly one. That big one, like, reminds me of Animal Crossing. What was it called? Goliath Moth? No. Something like that. I'm fairly certain. Good old Animal Crossing. Ah! Come on! Oh my god. Oh my god, you just get in the net. Oh! I don't know what that was, but okay. Is, is that all of them? I think that's all of them. There's too many ways to go. Like, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. The entire house is in. Oh, God. They're totally infested. At this point, you're going to have to just bloody move, surely. Need a key. Okay. What is that sound? Oh, is there more? Oh, there's more. Oh, they're all over the freaking walls. Oh, they're on the ceiling. No. Have we got them all? I can still hear them. Okay, I'm just gonna. Can I close the door? Is any behind the door? No. Yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, so many. I don't like where this is going. Because we haven't had an opportunity to release them yet. I do like games, though, where you're kind of doing these, like, basic tasks. You know, like, moving one thing to, a, like, another and collecting all the objects. They're, they're kind of nice to kind of turn your brain off and collect. Oh, but I... I mm. I don't like where this is going, Cook. That's not a key. What do I collect? No recipes. Okay. Are we cooking moths? Oh, look, there it is. So they are pretty. Some of them have really, like, pretty designs and such. But, oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Doesn't change the fact that cloves moths are destructive and stuff. The Luna Moth, oh Luna Moth again, is a large, beautiful moth native to North America. It is named after the Roman goddess of the moon because of its pale green colour and crescent-shaped markings on its wings. The Luna Moth is known for its short adult lifespan of only about a week, during which it does not eat or have a mouth. Oh no! The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimetres. It doesn't have a mouth! That's so fucking freaky! I could have done without knowing that. The wingspan of the Luna Moth can reach up to 11 centimetres, making it one of the largest moths in North America. The caterpillars of this species are also quite striking, with bright green bodies and long spiny tails. The Luna Moth is primarily active at night. Oh, lovely. I didn't need to know this information. Oh. Okay, down we go. Use F to put out a match. Why would I need to put it out? That concerns me a tad. Oh, hello. Please get in my net. And also, apparently, the bag of infinite moths that I carry with me. Talk amongst yourselves whilst I bag all these moths. I don't want to miss any. Because then I wouldn't have done a good job. Oh. Okay. Oh. 
very good. Hmm. 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, oh. Oh, shit! Oh, god damn it, that's going to keep making me jump. Save recipe? What? No! How about no? Not a chance, not a... F oh! Oh, god! Okay, fine, I'll go down there. So big. Oh, 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 oh God! Oh, I was in a chrysalis. Oh God, I'm a moth now. I've become one of. Oh God, I've become one of them. I don't want to play this anymore. There's too many. <laughs> Oh, I have become one of the moths. I am now Mothman. I don't want to be Mothman. Oh, why was it so big? Am I going to turn into that now? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> Do I need them all or have I got enough now? I've got quite a lot of moths. It did say I didn't have to get all of them, didn't it? Didn't it say, like, I, I, ideally I would get them all out? But, like, I don't have to. <gasps> I think I'll try and get them all, just because the completionist... Oh, my God, I didn't say the completionist in me wants to. But you know what, at this point, fuck that noise. I've got those. There's just too many. Oh, it's so gross. Oh, it's so gross. Ugh. Wait. Has it changed? I feel like it's changed. Well, if I need more moths, I know where to bloody go. This has changed. What has happened? Am I going back to the start? I can run. That's the star. Things are different. The corridors are different. Why are they different? Are they little moth architectural designers? Ugh. So what do I do with the recipe? When am I cooking? This is definitely different. Where's our giant moth friend gone? Hook. Ew! The recipe's moths! Not enough ingredients. Why am I cooking moths? Well, I know where to find more. How have I not got enough? I had bloody loads of the fluffers. Uh. Ah. Ah. Okay, that's got to be enough, surely. Deliciousness is moments away. How? I need ten of those. Can I not see what I've got? I don't have, like, a an inventory. Do I have an inventory? Oh, God! Oh my god, that's so creepy crawly. I do have an inventory. I have so many moths. I'm really confused though. So I need... 10... Uh, do I not have enough? Well, I have zero of them. And I have zero... Okay, so I have quite a few I have zero of. How many do I need mainly? No more than 10. Okay, so at least now I know what I need to get. So if I just go back down there and keep swishy swishing until I catch a shit ton of the ones I need, we're good. Uh, swish, swish, swish. I would if I could do that. So what's the point of the radio to, so I know when, like, the big fucker's coming near? Because that would have been handy to know. Uh. What about you guys? Uh, so still zero. 
I'm guessing I need the special ones. Which are the special ones? Um, maybe it's the giant one. In which case, how do I get you? It's still zero. Is there a different recipe I can collect? Where, th there's a point, where's the area with the thingy? Like where the giant moth come from? No, they're still the same moths, hang on. No, 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 no. Where, where did I go? So I came out of here. Right. Right. Uh. Okay, that's loud. Where's the key? I'm missing a key. Oh, oh no, close. I'm closing myself in, thanks. If you were a key, would you be behind the goose? No. Would you be on the table? Also, no. I don't know then. Let's go this way. Wait, now I'm turned around. Uh. This is... This is where it was. Ah! Fuck! <laughs> this is where it was. This is where it lives. Fine. They put me back in its cocoon of grossness. Though it has. Oh, and there's so many more moths. My moths are the same still. No, I still got the same moths. They're just... Come on. Maybe I have to use the thing to find out where they are. Uh, this way. Like, when it gets to, like, really loud, don't go near it. Like that, look. So it's near there, then. So that's how I track it. Oh look! Are they different? Nope, they're still the same ones. What about you? Some of these have to be different at this point. Come on. Oh look! I got a new recipe! Well, that's better. Maybe that recipe's gonna be for the ones I've already caught, because so far... Oh, no, I got I got some new ones! Okay! Oh, Emperor Moth. I did his Emperor Moth! Okay. Look at me getting a tiny bit excited over finally catching moths I need. That way's bad, isn't it? Oh, I think we're good. Oh! Hi, Paul. It turns out the... I'm not going to be able to pronounce that. Something Moths has many abilities besides speaking human language. They're capable of something. To report that I'm going to something, I'm not sure I'll be back from there, but in the name of science, I have to check it out. I grow new types of moths in the basement. Why? I hope that while I'm away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance if something happens. Then... I left the key in the something library and then a picture of it just to hammer it home. So they bred a gigantic moth that speaks human language. Excellent. Just what we needed. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I can extinguish the light! That's why we ext Extinguish the light and it won't come near us. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But it does sound like it's getting very close. Well, it's going away now. I got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. Don't be too deaf to figure that out. But, oh, oh. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, look. We have a second floor. This is new. We get loads of recipes. <gasps> oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh shit, that would come without fucking warning, didn't it? 
Run, run, run. Maybe I should turn up my light. Probably should. Let's just not. Let's just go to the kitchen because I think I've got enough freaking recipes now. Oh no, I need the library, don't I? Wait, why am I going this way? This way bad. Oh, I'm lost. Huh. This is actually more terrifying than I thought it'd be. I don't want to catch any more off. I just want to get to the library so I can get the key. Ugh. Oh, recipe. Where's the bloody library? This house is laid out so bizarrely. I don't understand. Can I catch some moths while I'm here? Swishy, swishy. Ooh. Which direction is it coming in? I have no idea, so I'm just going to run. I th I'm assuming behind me. I think I made the right choice. Swish, swish while I'm here. Grab all the moths. Okay, that sounds like it's right behind me, so let's just not dilly-dally. Did I just say dilly-dally? I did just say dilly-dally. Great. That's part of my vernacular now. Oh! I read that one already. Where the fluff was the kitchen, and how do I get to the library? Because I'm not seeing a key anywhere. I want to escape from this nightmare. Oh! The create... Wait, what? The Creatonotus gangis moth is a species of moth found in Southeast Asia, Australia, and parts of Africa. It is known for its distinctive appearance with brightly coloured hind wings that are covered in a long fluffy hair-like structures called Cormata. The Cormata are used by male moths to release pheromones that attract females for mating. The moth is also notable for its ability to vary the size and shape of its Cormata in response to its environment and social factors which may play a role in mate selection and competition. I don't want to know the inner workings of the fucking moth! Oh, well, We haven't been here before then, because I definitely didn't see that before. Oh, I just really want the key now. Can I have the key? Wait, is that the... No, I don't want to go down there. I need the kitchen. Where was the kitchen? No, 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 no. Be kind now. I'm, I'm go Oh! Oh, hello. In a truly astonishing discovery, Mason Hart, the well-known moth collector, has discovered a new species of moth that can speak the human language. Mr. Hart, who has been collecting and studying moths for many years, made the discovery while on a collecting trip to the Amazon rainforest. The moth, which has a unique wing pattern and body structure, has observed by Mr. Hart communicating in English. This incredible discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and has opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart has named the new species Ling oh, Lingua Moth, that would make sense, and has pledged to continue studying and protecting this remarkable insect. Is that the one that keeps trying to kill me, though? Because it's not a great thing if that's the case. Oh, crap. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I don't want to go upstairs. Well, I know it's downstairs, so maybe I do. Is there a library up here? Keep going. Uh, no. Keep going. Now that goes downstairs. Interesting. Oh! Nope, 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 nope. That is bad. That is bad. That is very bad. Go away, Lingua Moth. I don't like you. That way. Then that way. Then that way. Because look at me pretending I know where I'm going. No, I don't want to go down here. Oh, shit! Oh, well, dead end. Take me, Lingua Moth! <laughs> well, at least it's quicker to get back to the kitchen. What? Ew. So, I have now got... Uh, I've got a lot of everything. So, in theory, I should be able to cook at least something with these lovely moths. Um, which was... Where exactly? Where was the kitchen? Here. Yes. Very good. Cook. Not enough ingredients. Oh, I can make this. Good. Cook. And what the bloody hell do I do with moth soup? I'm just carrying moth soup now. Ew! 
Ew! Gross. Okay, um... I don't know. I'm guessing we have to have the key. And I have no idea where that is. It's gonna have to be upstairs, because there's nothing else down here. I have to avoid that moth, though. Oh! Yeah, so that's the exit. So I know the exit is now. Good. But... I don't know. Key, key, key. At least we don't lose our inventory. That's something very good. Ugh. No, thank you. Oh, yes! No, 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 no! Oh, God, it got me! Oh, my God! Okay, it's clearly guarding the bloody key. It doesn't want us to go upstairs, so it's going to have to be up there somewhere. Come on, go. I don't need any more moths. I've made moth soup. Let me use the thing. And then extinguish and light. I'm curious to see what happens if I just turn my light off when it's near. Will it leave me alone? Oh. It's, it's here somewhere. Okay. That might have worked. might have worked. I am kind of lost now though. Go. Let me turn that off. Just walk in the dark. Totally fine. We don't need light. There's a light there. Ah! Shit! <laughs> no! Fuck off. There's two ways up. I need to find the other way. I think. Go. This is getting silly. <sighs> but we know it's down there, so I cannot wait for it to move. Like, oh, oh, you sneaky fuck! That's naughty. It was downstairs that time. I could have just gone upstairs. That was a sneaky fucking moth move. Rudeness. Let's try it again! Go. Duck. I just want a key. Look! Hide there. See if it goes away. We went down there, so that's good. We like that. Very good news. Okay, good. So we know it's downstairs. Where have I not been? I haven't been here then. Library! <gasps> Grab. What's that? What's that? Uh, Mason Hart, the famous moth collector, has won the Nobel Prize in Biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of moth that can speak the human language. Lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has re revolutionised the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognised as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. Yeah, he can fuck off. Um... I'm going to leave now. Hopefully I keep my key. Because I'm not going through that again. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, God, there it is. Go. This way's good. This way's very good now. Go, 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 go. Oh, where was the bloody exit? I don't know where the exit was. Oh, God, it's right there. Oh, God. No, I've turned my light off. Oh, that's rude. I turned the light off. Maybe it's my bright personality that drew you to me. <laughs> Fine. Do I get to keep my key at least? I like to think I did. I'm going to leave with my key, my box of moths, and my bowl of moth soup. 
Uh, that's how I came in. So which way was the exit? Uh, hang on. Oh, there's this way. Okay. Please work, please work. Oh, thank fuck for that. It's a void. Oh. Oh, please don't touch me with your feelers. Oh, the thing. Oh, God. I don't like it. Please don't do that. Please don't nuzzle me with that thing. Oh. Oh, they are eyes. Oh, I can talk to you. Of course I can. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him. Once, he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup. Moth soup. Way ahead of you. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make me soup and feed the Moth King. I don't want to. I don't all want to. Can I just give you this? I've already made this. It's delicious. There you go. Can you just drink this one? Okay, there you go. Soup can be prepared in the pot in the kitchen. I have it in my hand. Just take it. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. Okay. Also, I don't know if the king liked this soup, so it's better like if you would be make more soup from other ingredients. I don't want to. Okay. I mean, I don't want to. Uh, got any more recipes? Well, I can make that one. Not enough ingredients, not enough ingredients, not enough ingredients for that one. Oh, it looks like I'm making that one. There you go. Enjoy this. Get it down your gallet or whatever the fuck moths have. There you go. Nom. Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time and two pots of soup is not enough. So make another batch of soup. I think he'll have enough. Oh, the... Well, he likes that one. Have I got enough ingredients to make that one again? Oh, I have! Yay! He says whilst feeding a giant moth to his moth king. Thank you for feeding the moth king. However, he says that your soups were terrible and he would have been better off starving. Fuck you! I don't want to do this, but I have to follow the king's orders. The Moth King says you killed moths for nothing to make those awful soups. He wants to drive you to Moth Hell. Moth Hell is a terrible place for moths, but not only moths get there, <laughs> but people too. For example, our owner got there. On this, we will have to part. I'm sorry, but there is no choice. Goodbye. Oh. Oh. Off to Moth Hell I go. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. oh, it's Moth Hell. Oh my god, I'm in Moth Hell. It's my literal hell. Where am I, Moth now? Oh, I've got pretty wings. Upside, pretty flappy wings. I would very much like pretty flappy wings. I could deal with that. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to assume there is more than one ending to this. Like, if I had mixed the right amount of moth soups to feed the moth to give to his moth king and all that jazz, um, I'm guessing something different would have happened. I'm not willing to find out what, because what the hell was that? This is the one time where I'm not going to try to get all endings. If you really want me to, I can revisit this. But I think scouring the house for different moths to try and find the right amount of ingredients is going to be a trial and everything, which would make for a very long video. And after a while, I think it may get tedious. I think it's a luck game, to be honest with this. But we did finish it. We found the key. We caught the moths. We made the soups and made someone very unhappy. I got wings. I'm happy. So, pfft. Okay, Fluffies, well, on that note, thanks so much for watching this video. If you wanted to play it for yourself and get different endings, if there are any, the link will be in the description bar below, as always. Do let me know, though, if there are other endings, because 
I don't like to leave things unfinished. I'm intrigued, but at the same time, I kind of just would rather someone just tell me what happens. I don't think I need to live it. <laughs> oh God. I have learned a lot about moths though. Knowledge that I, I don't think I needed. Okay, Fluffies, well until the next video, awesome possum. Bye, Fluffies!